Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this flip digital clock using Affinity Designer. For this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.7.3. So before we start, we need to create a new document. For that, we go to our toolbar at the top. We click File, New. I'm using my 1920 by 1080 at 300 dpi, like as is usual in my tutorials, but you can use any other dimensions that you require. The only thing, remember to uh, get transparent background uh, antique, and you can leave the rest as it is, and we click OK. So with that, we now have our new uh, document. And before we continue, go to our top, top bar, click on view, make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbar. Perfect. With that out of the way, let's get started. Okay. First, I'm going to create a rectangle. It needs to be uh, higher than wider. So let me use the check the transform there. So I'm going to use something like this and let me see uh white 200 and something i think it's something like that will be fine uh, i'm going to use uh, 242 just to have so have the same relation so something like that will be fine perfect now that we have this one what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another small rectangle and this one I'm going to give him more or less a wide of 30 pixels and a height of 61. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the field so we can see what we are doing. It's just only for because of that. So let's make it I don't know something really that pops up so we can see what we are doing and in this one I'm going to change the color as well let's put something I don't know like a green somewhere there it's the, the color for uh, at this moment is just only to see what we are doing so first I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to line it right at the edge and at the middle so make sure that is perfectly aligned there and I'm going to hold uh, alt and click and drag and you can release alt and everything so now we can drag it to the opposite side perfect now that we have that we can select all of them uh, I'm going to sorry before I'm going to make another copy that we are going to use later on let me change the color so I, I don't get confused perfect so now I'm click and drag to select everything and you go to geometry and you click minus. So we make these small dents. Basically, that is what you have the wheels for the um, sections to flip. Now that we have this one, I'm going to click command J to duplicate. And as well, I'm going to take the one that is at the bottom and I'm going to change the color so I can see what I'm doing and which one I'm using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, give it a stroke of, let's say, roughly 9 pixels. Uh, yeah, 9 pixels will be fine. And what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to get rid of the field now. With that one selected, what I'm going to do is I'm coming here to my toolbar. I'm clicking on layer and I'm going to click on expand stroke. So what I'm going to do is now I need to give that 3D kind of effect. So what I'm going to do is on this one, I'm going to give it a gradient. So what I'm going to do is uh, taking the fill tool, I'm going to click on the top and drag it to the bottom. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the top one. Let's make it uh let's make it like this not pure pure white let's make it 90. okay and if we go to the bottom one we can make it let's make it no hundred or zero but let's make it five perfect now we have that gradient like that let me see 
I think uh, let's make the top one a little bit darker. So with that one selected, I'm going to make it 80. I think that one is much better. So now I'm going to select the border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply um, gradient, but the opposite way. So we click on our fill tool and with that one selected the middle to the top. Sorry, it's this one. Let's make it there at the top. So I'm going to click and drag. Perfect. Then we need to go the other way around. So this one, uh, that one is fine. That one is, I think it's too gray. Let's make it a little bit darker. That one at the bottom, uh, sorry, at the top and at the bottom, let's make it a little bit lighter. Something like an 80 will be fine. Something like that. Perfect. Now that we have that, we can, um, we need to put the, uh, the wheels that goes, uh, there in the middle. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to bring it here and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to make it smaller, something like that, something like that. First, let's make it, uh, that actually aligns with the, with the border. So now I'm hitting uh, command, hold command, click and drag. So you see it's making it smaller on both sides at the same time. And the same thing for the top. I'm going to try to make sure that the space is evenly uh, spread in between both. Uh, sorry, top and bottom and this side. There. Now we need to give this one a kind of uh, 3D look. So let's go to our fill tool and with that one selected, let's put a gradient like this. Perfect. So now we can go here and let's make it like this. Let's insert another one somewhere there and let's insert another one more or less somewhere there. So we go from light to dark. Let's make it something like this. This one a little bit lighter and this one a little bit something like this. So you need to move around this one so you can have gives that kind of circular pattern or makes like a like this like a uh, yeah like a cylinder. Perfect with that one there, with that one done. I'm going to select, hold Alt, click and drag. So we have a copy, and then I'm going to move it like this. So now both are exactly the same. Now we need the uh, the bar that goes in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, as it is now, uh, I'm going to click on my rectangle tool and I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to get no stroke and let's click in there. Let's make it a little bit thicker. So let me select this one a little bit thicker, not too much. I think it like that is fine. Let's move it and let's put it right in the middle. Make sure that it goes inside the, this wheel, something like that. Maybe to the middle will be fine. And there we go. Now this one needs to go underneath those two. So I'm coming here to my toolbar at the top and arrange and I'm going one, one. So basically we are there. Now we have that bar. Now we need to put the number. So for the number, uh, I'm going to select my artistic tool text uh, and I'm click and drag. I'm going to make something like this and I'm going to put the number two and the one that I'm going to select the font that I'm using for this tutorial is Bebas new. So we are somewhere Bebas, Bebas, where are you? Bebas new and I'm going to make it actually white and you come here, you click and drag and then obviously you make it a little bit bigger and let's put it there in the middle 
maybe we can make it a little bit taller something like that and uh, just put it there on the mid in the middle let me click on that one click on this one and then is aligned to make sure that you selected last selected last selected and that is in the middle and in the middle perfect uh oh yes this one needs to go underneath our central line there so now i'm going to click and drag to select everything command g so we group them and now what we can do is we can click on that one alt and drag it perfect now they are all equally spaced so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this one and i'm going to edit that text so i'm going to delete and i'm going to click zero and this one is the last one a zero as well so now we have a 2020 the new year by the way happy new year for all my subscribers and for everybody who is watching this video at this time if you are watching in, in the future yes this is the year 2020 uh, anyway so <laughs> i selected everything and i'm going to group it so i got it all together and now to give it a little bit more of uh, context because now uh, now you can do whatever you want with this one but what i've done is basically i created just uh another rectangle let me put it to th at the bottom let's get rid of that let's make it black uh, no, let's make a gradient, sorry, linear gradient, uh, but I need to uh, that one delete and that one delete. And what I'm going to do is, let me see, I need from top to bottom. And let me make this a little bit bigger, something like that. Let me click and drag everything. So I got it perfectly aligned. I think it's fine there. Now on this gradient is basically from that one needs to be very dark and the top one we can make it uh, a little bit, a little less. Okay, just something like, a, like that. Perfect. Now what I can do is this one I'm going to give it rounded corners and I'm going to make it a little bit less, something like that. Ten percent will be fine. Yeah, I think ten percent is fine. So I'm going to click uh, Control J to duplicate that one. I'm going to give it a stroke to that one. Sorry, to the bottom one. I'm going to give it a stroke. Uh, and let's say nine a little bit more than nine pixels let's make it a little bit thicker so that is the border of the of the clock if you are looking from the front and i think it like that is fine i'm going to get rid of the fill and then i'm coming to the toolbar and layer and span stroke so basically now it's a completely separate curve and what I'm going to do to that one, I'm going to apply, let's make something like a the 3D effect. And let's zoom a little bit. I think it like that, a little, as it is in there. Let's increase a little bit the, the radius, something like that. And let's make it from the top. Let's make it azimuth. 90 degrees ambient light let's see we can reduce a little bit the ambient light and let's reduce a little bit the diffuse and let's bring the opacity and let's make it a little bit softer i think it's something like that basically now is just i'm trying to finish and give it a a more 3d look so basically that's it for this tutorial let me grab and select everything and make a group like always i do is i'm going to take this one let's align it to the margin so basically to the margin is aligned 
to the actual canvas so now it's in the middle of the of our page and like always do i'm clicking and creating a rectangle let me get the stroke to zero actually and the fill swatches let's give it that color there and let's send it to the back and let's make it something like this so basically we are actually finished with the video that's it for this video i hope you like it if you did please remember to subscribe give the thumbs up share it it's very important to me it really helped me a lot uh, you know when the people see the videos comment on the videos um it helped me a lot you know to keep on doing these kind of videos so if you really like it please do all those things i will really really appreciate it if you are starting looking at this video uh now is today is the first of january 20 uh, 20 happy new year to you thank you very much for watching if you're watching in the future anyway thanks anyway and thank you very much for watching and like always see you in the next video